Hello everyone, my name is Patience from Horror Church. Welcome to our Horror Seventh Day Adventist Church online platform. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. Please stay safe. God bless you. Pray for everyone around the world. Let's continue to pray for one another. Hi guys, I just wanted to say hello and make sure that you're all doing well and I hope that you're maintaining that social distancing that has been advised. Uh, this is just a little message from me, so stay safe everybody and I hope to see you again. Bye! Blessed Sabbath to you saints. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 reads, The Lord is faithful. Who shall establish you? and keep you from evil. Amen. Hello everyone. Uh, good morning. Happy Sabbath to you all. Um, be it a sister, be it a brother, be it an uncle, be it a, 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 a grandmother or grandfather. Uh, let's look after one another. Let's take care of each other. Help where you can. Uh, please support those who are in need. Uh, be it dropping off groceries for those who are in isolation. Be it, um, you know, uh, saying a prayer for someone or singing a song over the phone for someone. Uh, let's, have, let's look after each other during this time. Thank you. Psalm 121. I will lift mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy fruit to be moved. He that keepeth thee shall not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Hello everyone, this is just a thought. We're all going through this corona pandemic together, all of us, be it our communities, our families as individuals and even as nations at large, we're all going through the corona pandemic, all of us. Now many things are happening as a result of this. We've got people losing jobs, people being suspended, people can't go to school, our movements have been restricted, and these are all things that impact us. And these are serious things. They impact all of us. Now as we go through these things, we all have difficult situations. We all are going through something. I know personally from at my workplace, people have been let go, and you never know when the axe will fall again. We are always on edge, but these are the times we're living in and we just have to trust in the Lord. And we also remember that we have to be grateful. We really have to be grateful at this time. Things could be worse. We're alive, we're in good health. Whether we're, even if we're not in good health, we're still alive. So we need to be thankful, all of us. So that is something that I thought we'd just share. Let us be thankful for what we do have. There are many things that have changed. There are many things that we do not have that we cannot do. But for what we do have, let us be thankful. And from that place of gratitude, let us look forward and find ways to move forward, staying safe, staying healthy, and being positive examples to the rest of the world as Christ would want us to be. May God bless us all. Amen.